Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you a little bit about some of the shape tools that are available here in uh, Illustrator CS5. Under the, um, it's a third tool down on my right. It also looks like a rectangle. There are several different tools. The rectangle first. Let's talk about it. And to make sure we can see things, we're going to change the color to something obvious, and we're going to give a stroke some more weight. So when I draw it out, it creates a rectangle. That rectangle has a four-point path around it and red fill. Let's check out and see what other tools we have. If you hold this down, you're going to see that there is the rounded rectangle, ellipse, polygon, star, and flare. I don't know what that one is. Anyway, we'll take those ones out and just tear off that menu. So now that I look at this, um, let's switch to the rounded rectangle tool. And when I start to draw it, it makes a rounded rectangle. Now if yours doesn't look exactly like this, that's because there are some properties for this particular thing. Let's check out how to access those properties. If I'm uh, clicking off my rectangle that's already existing, it's going to tell me something about it. See, this was still selected, right? and I just clicked off of it and I ended up getting this little menu. Let's do that again. All right. So let's say there is no rectangle and I'm going to just start one. You can click once and it'll pop up. Alt clicking will also do that. So in my case this one here is 23 point radius. I can change that to a different size. So let's see what happens when I put it down to 12. So you see it gave me a much smaller curve on the corner. Now one of the things you should notice is that the way these things transform. When I take this particular rounded rectangle and I grab onto it and I just pull it out, what did it do? It stretched those curves. So one of the things that I tend to do when I'm trying to make a rounded rectangle for a particular area is that I will set up some guides first. I'm going to go View, Rulers, Show Rulers, so that I can see some. Then I'm going to take out a guide and another guide. And what I want to do here is basically set up the space I'm going to draw my rectangle by pulling out the guides first. Then when I go to make my rectangle I can make one that has the proper curves and it can fill in that space. So you end up with a pretty solid edge. Like it ends up to where you get it in the right spot you don't have to worry about those curves not being the same throughout um, and look funny like you stretched them. So um, let's check out some other tools. Let's try the ellipse tool. And if you hold down shift, you're going to get an actual circle. Um, let's try the polygon tool. Let's just click once, not drag, but just tap and see what happens. Look, we get a polygon option. And what this is going to do is this is going to create a six-sided polygon. If I wanted to make it be a triangle, I put it down to three. It's going to say its radius is 50 points from the center. Let's see what that looks like. There's a triangle. Let's uh, tap out here and make one that is eight sided, an octagon, and let's make it mm, 80. Let's see how big that sucker is going to be. Ooh, nice. Look, there's my stop sign. Uh, the star tool is separate. If you remember in Flash, this was kind of together. So let's do the star one. Same thing. Let's give it seven points. You can do radius one and radius two in order to create it. Now, you can also drag these out. That's fun too. So if you ever needed to make a bunch of stars, it wouldn't be hard. Oops, I just clicked off. Let's do it. There we go. Yep, there's a lot of stars. Really easy to make. And let's check out this lens flare. Why people think that that's a lens flare, I don't know. But whatever, we'll go with it. So what I want you to do in this particular video is just see if you can fill your page with designs. 
using these regular standard shapes. I want you to check out maybe some different strokes and see if you can apply any of your other things you've learned to these, like clicking on it and changing its border.